direction. But sometimes in those rain bands, you can get a little extra burst of wind flow and sometimes a little backside rotation can occur. So that's going to be the concern as far as water spouts go. Nothing imminently concerning, but it's the pattern that we can see with land falling hurricanes. They can produce those bands that can cause some water spouts along the offshore areas that can roll onshore. For the rest of the night and through most of tomorrow, there's still going to be a western focus of the heaviest rain scattered to the east, but we're really not going to let off the concerns for maybe a couple more instances of gustier winds and water spouts even through late tomorrow night. So there's still going to be that hazard to contend with, but I still believe, especially for the western quarter of the region, it's going to be the rain accumulations on top of what's already fallen next 24 hours, especially around the tri-state and west. We could see numerous interest is four to six and even higher estimates uh, just in the eastern panhandle region while off to the wet uh, to the east the rain chances and the rain coverage and accumulation will be less that tornado watch continuing up until seven likely to be extended and reconfigured i'll let you know more on that on our facebook live feed after seven o'clock at wtxl tallahassee Flash flood watch for many tri-state counties through tomorrow and into Thursday morning as again numerous inches of rain can fall and cause a quick surge of water levels. However, a drier trend is foreseen in the extended forecast and slightly cooler too with less rain coverage. Morning lows perhaps in the 60s by the weekend and next week and highs hovering close to 80 degrees with some lingering clouds.